I was wrong in the last thoughts video because I said that in the rich young ruler story I didn't think that it was in Luke, but it was. It's in Matthew 19, Mark 10, and Luke 18. Here's the thing that I ask you to check before in that thoughts video. I said, how did the, the, um, the rich young ruler leave in contrast to the woman at the well? who came to Jesus weary and worn, and then ran from Jesus, excited at the end. This guy ran to Jesus at the beginning, and then, every instance, it mentions that he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. There it is. Went away sorrowful. And then, like here, it says, he was sad at that saying, and went away grieved, for he had great possessions. And then again here in Luke. And when he heard this, he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. Now here's a saying that's interesting here. Notice that Jesus in each passage says, One thing thou lackest. One thing. And then he, But he also says one. He says, Why callest thou me good? There is only one good, and that is God. One. Then he said, one thing thou lackest. You know what that one thing is? Jesus. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. One way. One way God said to get to heaven, Jesus is the only way. Remember singing that when you were a kid? He comes to him and says, good master. He calls him rabbi. He uses the form of rabbi that says, that's calling him master. And then he says, why callest thou me good? You notice he doesn't rebuke him for calling him master because that was a true saying. He is the master. He is the true rabbi. But he, he rebukes him for the word good. And then he uses the fact that God is good. But you notice what also is missing? And when Jesus said, one thing thou lackest, well, it was him. You ever notice all the commandments he mentions? They're all commandments which regard men. But if thou wilt enter into life, life on earth, that is, keep the commandments. But he's also speaking of life in heaven. But you're supposed to keep all the commandments. And he keeps the ones that regard man. That's the ones that God, Jesus, quotes to him in each one of these passages, once again. And actually, yeah, yeah, here it does it again in, in Matthew. And then here. He leaves out the ones about God. And you notice the kid doesn't say, or yeah, I say kid because it says a young ruler. He doesn't say, wait, what about the ones about God? No, he says, I've kept all these from my youth up. And Jesus didn't say, no, you haven't. So the guy actually was a good guy, trying to be good to his family and good to those around him, not stealing, not bearing false witness, all those things. Loving his neighbor as himself. Jesus didn't rebuke him and say, no, that's not true. He did. But see, he still lacked Honoring God, having no other gods before him, recognizing that Jesus is the Christ, the God-man. He is God. Why callest thou me good? You're calling me master, but you don't believe I'm God. And I'm going to show everybody real quietly and gently. I'm going to point out your good features and leave out what you're leaving out. And then when he says, sell all that you have and give to the poor... That's demonstrating your love. What is true religion and undefiled before God? To visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction. Visit them with gifts, with help, with your money, with your time. But no, I, I, I don't have that much time because I'm working on great possessions that I'm gathering unto myself here on earth. Not considering the fact that there are those who are in need who you can share these possessions with. God will repay but nah, it's not crossed my mind. It's not a concern. Those are the things that God institutes and, and gives you the ability to do. And, uh, you know, so that's what he lacked. He 
wasn't going to do that. Sorry, I'm not going to honor God in that way. And I and I don't recognize you as God there, fella. You're just a, you know, you're a rabbi. I just happened to use the wrong form of rabbi even when I called him to you. But Jesus didn't pu punch him in the nose about that and say, why are you calling me rabbi? You don't believe that. Rabbi. Rabbi. Master. Master, all these things have I observed from my youth up. He keeps calling him master. Probably. Well, yeah, rabbi. And then it's, I love this here, Jesus beholding him, loved him, and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, you don't know me. If you would, you'd give up all that you have. We've read those things in the previous chapters. Take up the cross. Cross? What's that? Hasn't happened yet. This guy has nothing, no, no knowledge of it, has no concern to know either. And follow me. Something that should have made him like, wow, that's it, huh? No, he was sad because he loved his stuff more than he loved eternal life. 